welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to chat through our minimalist skincare routines. So this is very minimal, using very few products, but also the diet tips that we use to keep our skin really healthy. So when it comes to skincare, we really believe that you don't need a lot of products. So beauty really does start from the inside out, but then there are a few targeted products that can really help to just take it to the next level. Yeah. So we're going to start with food. So the first food or supplement that we're going to talk about is collagen. So here we have the collagen peptides from Vital Proteins. Mm -hmm. So this is a very popular brand of collagen. Collagen peptides are great for your skin because they supply all of those precursor amino acids that we need for collagen production in our skin. So that's basically what keeps your skin mm -hmm. like really elastic and youthful. Yeah. Good for wrinkle prevention and for actually reversing wrinkles as well, like little fine lines. So there are a number of different ways that you can take collagen. So you could just, it doesn't taste like anything. You can just take a scoop and put it into teas or mm -hmm. some people blend it into like a bulletproof coffee. You can smoothies. add it to your smoothies. Yeah. I even um, put it into scrambled eggs. It Oh, like goes in really easily. So you get about five or six grams of protein with a serve mm. as well, so it boosts your protein. And what we really like about Vital Proteins is the collagen is all sourced from ethically raised and grass-fed cows. The other good thing about collagen is it balances out your amino acids from eating potentially too much muscle meat. Mm. So it's great for your health as well as giving you great skin. So our next skincare from the inside out product would be sauerkraut. So sauerkraut, as we know, is great for keeping our gut healthy, keeping high levels of those lactic acid forming mm. bacteria, which keep pathogens under control, keep our gut working really, really well. Mm. And that can reduce dryness of the skin, breakouts, all kinds of things, because our gut and skin is so yeah. interlinked. Yeah. So we love this sauerkraut. This is the one I've got at the moment, is the smoked garlic kraut. We've mentioned it a couple of times. It's my favorite one. Mm. So if you're in Australia, definitely check out this brand. But what you want to look for is one in the fridge section of your either supermarket or health food store because it will be unpasteurized and raw. So it's full of the living healthy bacteria. Mm. So pretty much all foods that support our gut health will also keep our skin bright and glowing because we know that the gut is really the root of all of our health. So when the gut is off, our skin is going to be off. Mm -hmm. So another one which also links to gut health but has some other benefits is cod liver oil. Mm -hmm. So cod liver oil in particular is high in vitamin A, vitamin D and then your essential fatty acids mm -hmm. as well. So we know that vitamin A is really good for supporting the turnover of our skin and really normalizing the keratin turnover. So when you look at products with like retinoids and things in that, that's linked to, well mm. that is vitamin A, it's a retinoid. So if you consume it internally, it helps those cells to turn over really well. And also the vitamin D is great mm. for skin health. Yeah. So we take that every day. So we also wanted to mention that including plenty of zinc rich foods in your diet is really good for supporting the health of your skin. So zinc can be found in a number of different foods. So mostly seafood and in particular shellfish. Yep. But then also it can be found in liver. So like lamb's liver or beef liver. Mm -hmm. And you it's can... quite high in the muscle meat too of lamb and beef. Oh cool. And pumpkin seeds. Yes, pumpkin seeds is another good one. Sourcing your zinc from food first is usually a good option rather than turning straight to a zinc supplement because you don't want to be on a zinc supplement forever. It can cause a few little imbalances. Yep. So yeah, sourcing your nutrients from food is number one. So onto our actual skincare routine, we're going to start with cleansing. So I think both of us like to use oils or more like richer formulations for removing makeup rather mm. than like sudsy, soapy yeah. products. So the one that I'm using mm. at the moment is the Blue Moon Cleansing Balm from Sunday Riley. I know it's not like a super green beauty brand, but the ingredients list was quite clean and I do really like the scent of this product. It's like coconut <laughs> I oil. I would sell to Uber oil. It's like got just a lot of like nice oils in it. Ooh. Mm. So it's like just a big brick, like a cleansing balm, and I just scoop out a little bit and dissolve my makeup with it. Um, I can't use it on my eyes, unfortunately, because it has little granules, so I just use uh, rosehip oil or whatever organic oil I have on me to. So is it like a slightly exfoliating sort of like It's beads? supposed to, but the, the beads are really soft. Yeah. So they don't really exfoliate. They just get in your eyeball if you yeah. <laughs> get a tickle in your eye. 
<laughs> so to remove eye makeup, I would just use a little argan oil or roasted yeah. or jojoba oil. And I also use a cleansing oil to remove my makeup. So the one that I'm using at the moment is this one by Mokosh. And yeah, using oils, we just find it like mm. doesn't disrupt the skin's like natural barrier function. So you don't invite, you know, acne and different spots to come yeah, and while we're cleansing, we also love to use a muslin cloth. Mm -hmm. So you can pick these up from places like Mecca. I think this one is the Eva Eve Lom muslin cloth. So this can really help to remove any oily residue that you have on your skin from your cleansing. And it also helps to exfoliate a little bit at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's like a gentle exfoliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you get like little flakes around your nose and things and that like Buffs it away. Buffs it off really easily rather than like a scrub. Mm. So it's also really important to incorporate some form of moisturiser. So we generally like to opt for things like oils. We don't find that this contributes to breakouts or anything like that. So one of the oils that we both enjoy is the Argan Oil by Josie Moran. But any kind of Argan Oil will work. Also mm. rosehip oil is really lovely. And the Hope Bar is mm. one that I was using until I used it up recently. But that one's like very similar to the sebum in our skin. Yeah. So or you can just add a few easy. drops of this to your regular moisturizer if you want a bit of a boost. Other products we wanted to mention was, I use, and the label's like not correct, um, <laughs> chamomile water. So I just brew some chamomile tea and put it into a little spray bottle. And sometimes I like to use this as the first step. It's like very calming and also helps to lock in the moisture when you apply moisturizer mm. on top. And the one that I'm using at the moment, if I'm not using oils, I kind of change it up depending mm. on how my skin's feeling. This is a little more, like even heavier than just using an oil and it's the Mahalo Balm. Quite a thicker, but really like, I don't know, it has a really good feeling to it when you apply it. It's got like a um, very comforting feel to yeah. it. And I really enjoy this, especially at night time. I don't use it so much in the morning because it's a little heavy. The other thing I thought I'd mention is vitamin C powder. So sometimes I also add a little vitamin C boost to any of my skincare, whether I'm using oil or this product mm -hmm. here. So that really helps to mm, boost brighten collagen the skin. as well. Yeah. So vitamin C is also needed for that collagen production. So if you don't want to go out and purchase vitamin C to put on your skin, you could also try eating some vitamin C rich foods. <laughs> yeah. And last but not least, we like to protect our skin every day with an SPF. So when we say the skin, that's just mm. our face really. Typically don't apply sunblock all over our body, but on our face every day, we opt for a natural zinc sunblock. So the one that I'm using is by Juice Beauty, and mm. I really like that one. It's all organic yep. and it uses like non nanoparticles, but it just uses that natural sunblock rather than a chemical block. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that was our minimalist skincare routine. Let us know in the comments if you're interested in seeing like a morning routine mm. or more makeup style videos on this channel. And if you have any other skincare tips or questions, we would love to see them below. And before we go, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It really helps to support our channel. And if you're not already subscribed for more health, beauty and lifestyle videos, then hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye guys.